Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, I'm gonna explain how you can easily create and add subtitles to your videos in Primer Pro. And additionally, how you can automatically create SRT files and import them in your Primer Pro projects. All right, so we started a new project in Primer Pro and I'm gonna import my video. So I'm gonna click on this section, import media to start, select the video and click on import. And then I'm gonna click on the video file and drag it onto the timeline. Let's have a look. Hey everyone, my name is Tim. Uh, I just want Nice, so now we can add subtitles to this video. So to create and add subtitles to your video, first thing you need to do is head over to window and make sure that you select the text window. I'm gonna click on this. And as you can see, the text window appeared in my project. Assuming you have the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro, there are a couple of options you can consider choosing. For instance, you can transcribe a sequence, you can create new caption track, which is a manual way of adding subtitles, and import captions from file, such as an SRT file. And later on in the video, I'll show you how you can create and add one to your project. In this case, we're selecting transcribe sequence, and then you'll see a menu pop up. From here, you can select a language you speak in your video. In this case, it's English, so I don't need to change anything. You can also choose the audio tracks you wanna have transcribed. In this case, I only use one audio track anyway, so it doesn't matter if I choose mix, which is all of them, or audio one, which is the audio track number one. And just so you know, if you use the in and out points, you can transcribe a certain section of your sequence, but in this case, I wanna transcribe it all. So I'm gonna leave it as it is and click on transcribe. And now it's gonna auto transcribe your audio and it's gonna take a minute depending on the length of your sequence or selection. And after a moment, the transcription is finished and you can find it back on the text and on the transcript. And if I play back the video- Hey everyone, my name is Tim. Uh, as you can see, it follows it word for word. However, this is solely a transcript. I wanna turn this into subtitles. So to make this happen, head over to the CC icon. And when you click on it, you will see another menu pop up. Now, as you can see, you can change the caption presets, you can change the format, the style, whatever you prefer, how many lines you wanna have. For instance, if you wanna have the subtitles as singular lines or stacked upon each other. Now in this case, I'm not gonna change anything. I'm already content. You can change anything after the fact anyway. So all I need to do is click on create. And again, this can take a moment until it's finished. And now as you can see, the subtitles are added to the video. We've got a subtitle layer. You can see the subtitle in the video frame and you can see everything on the left in the captions tab as well. Now let's play back the video. Hey everyone, my name is Tim. Uh, I just wanted to say a quick hi to everyone. Nice, as you can see, everything is in sync and everything should be pretty accurate. Now, if you wanna change the captions, you can double click on the sentences and basically type the words you wanna add in. Now the subtitles should already be in sync with the audio in the video. However, if you wanna retime the subtitles, head over to the bottom timeline menu. And as you can see, you can see the subtitle layer and all the separate subtitles added to this video. Now they're completely customizable. You can simply just drag them around to a place you like. You can click and drag on the sides to extend or shorten them. And as I said, you can click and drag them from the middle to move them around. Now in this case, I'm gonna leave them untouched because I'm already content, but just so you know how you can retime them. Now let's say you wanna change the style of your subtitles. You simply double click on one of the subtitle layers and then an essential graphics or a subtitle editing menu pops up. From here, you can easily change the font, the sizing, the color, background color, the back shadow, whatever you prefer. Now let's say you wanna push this style to the rest of the subtitles. All you need to do is head over to track style and click on create style, give it a new name, let's say preset one, click on okay. And then we're gonna head back to track style next to preset one, you can see an arrow pointing up. We're gonna select it. All captions on track are selected and then we're gonna click on okay. And now if you play back the video, you can see that all the subtitles will have the same style. So that's how you easily create subtitles in Premiere Pro. However, if you wanna add subtitles to your video as an SRT file, for instance, you can easily create one online using Veed. Now it's very easy, you don't need to download anything. All you need to do is click on the first link in the description and you'll be automatically taken to Veed's editor. From there, you can easily import your videos and select the auto subtitle tool. And after the subtitles are made, you can easily edit the subtitles just the way you like before downloading it as an SRT file. And then when you're back in your Premiere Pro project, simply head over to import captions from file, select the SRT file from your desktop and click on import. And now the SRT file is added. And if I play back the video, one, my name is Tim. Uh, I just you can see the captions are there and everything is in sync. 
And again, you can edit the subtitles just the way you like from there. However, I can imagine for some people, Premiere Pro is quite overwhelming, especially if you're not familiar with editing and you're quite a beginner. In this case, I highly recommend you using Veet's online video editor. I just showed you how you can create an SRT file, but you can also create videos with outstanding subtitle animations, audio visualizers, you can add music, text, images, whatever you like. It's very convenient, very user-friendly. Try it out for free through the link in the description. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Have a nice day and good luck.